Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how to use a share sheet. So, share sheets are used in basically every app. So, this is just going to be, um, we're just going to be sharing text, but in a later episode or tutorial, I might share an image. So, I can show you how to do that. So, a share sheet is just what happens when you want to share something and it comes up with all those options, like message or copy or set as wallpaper so what I'm gonna do is just create a navigation controller we'll add a text box or text view text view I don't know I'll just do text view because it's easier well it's not easier but you can have more than one line so we'll center that and give it some constraints 25, 25, and we want it to have a constraint of. I should make it fill up the whole thing actually. So I'll just give it 0, 0. zero. Okay, let me just fix this. Uh, I'll just delete this one. Okay, oh my god. That was a bad idea. I should not have deleted that one. Uh, we can just change that quickly. Align this to safe area. So, what have I done? You know what? I'll just do it there. Just restart. Text view. Sometimes auto layout just breaks for some reason. So, 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 so. That's easy. Okay, now I'm just going to add a share button in the navigation controller. I mean, navigation bar. So I'll search up bar button item, add it on the right side, and we'll just set this image, we'll get rid of the text, we'll set image as uh, action here, and this is going to be our share button. So if I just delete all this text, and what I'll do is create an outlet to this text, to this uh, share button share button outlet okay I'll run this quickly to show what happens now but right now we should just be able to type into our text view and uh, click the share button it won't do anything though okay so if we click our share button nothing happens and um, we can type into here uh, anything we want so yeah now what I'll do is we'll start coding the share screen now it's quite easy so what I'm going to do is I've seen this quite a lot of times on Stack Overflow so I'm going to create a text variable or constant this is just going to be uh, let's just create an outlet here so I'll just set this text view outlet and now we can go to our view controller. Now I'll just set this text as the text view outlets dot text. And we need to convert this text into data. So we'll create a new let called text data and just convert that text into data UTF eight. You can also use UTF sixteen but it doesn't really matter. It's just UTF sixteen is a lot more complicated. I mean it doesn't really make a difference on what you see, but yeah. Okay, and now we can just, we need to create the files to share, to share, and we will, this is going to be any, and it's going to be equal to, oh actually, this is just all going to be text URL. And what I also found out on Swift Stack Overflow was this, um, we also need to create a new function called data to file, which all it does is move the data to a file somewhere in a, somewhere in core data or something. I don't really know. Anyway, what we're just going to do is create a func data to file, create a argument, file name, string, and you guys can just copy this for now because it doesn't really matter now let data equals 
myself that file bar goes get documents and we also need to create a another funk sorry I'm just copying off Swift back over for just for these funks so let's just create another funk get documents directory I'll link the stack overflow page in the description so like I made in the previous uh, tutorial I use stack overflow quite a lot because it's really useful so let paths equal ns search for paths directory dot document directory domain dot user domain mask and even I don't know what most of this stuff means so don't be don't be sad if you don't get it just you can just copy this stuff down documents directory equals paths zero return documents directory as ns string okay now we can create that file path let's get documents directory dot append path component string file name and now we need to do start do loop do try data dot write dot write to URL file URL path file path Hmm. Oh, this should be an extension data. Oh, okay. Whoops. So all I'll do is just create an extension. Sorry, I just getting a little caught up. So if I just copy and paste that, that's why I was making a mistake. All right. So Stack Overflow really helped us here, and we also need to move that there as well. Then. Move that outside there, and now it should be working. And now we can just return yes, URL file the path file path. Okay, so that was really complicated, but you don't need to really understand what this means for now because all it's doing is just here. And if it's an error, just print error and error. Okay. And now what we can do is just write the thing I was actually going to do, which is just uh, the share screen. So what we do is I don't I just need to I just need to do that to create the files to share. But now we can do a uh, text URL. So let's create a new text URL. Let text URL equals text data. Oh data to file file name and now you can just create a text file name so we'll name this uh, data.txt now we can just create our thing our files to share so if we add that text URL oh we need to equal to text URL and now wait what's this error okay wait let me just change that quickly I'll just append it I don't know why that doesn't work but it doesn't really matter append URL and then text URL okay now we can create the activity view controller activity View controller equals UI activity view controller and activity items. We are having the files to share, and there aren't any. 
Okay, now I can present this. True, and there's no completion. Okay, so that was quite a lot, but now if we run this again. Oh, where's the error? Oh, we forgot to return. Okay. If there's nothing here, all we do is return nil. Okay. So now let's run this again. And if we just write, hi, my YouTube channel well, is called Aria SK Coding. So now if I share this, this is our data. Uh, if we copy this and uh, I don't know how I'm gonna all I can show you is just we can save this to files and if we just on my iPhone save that there and now if I go to files where is files there it is and if we go to browse uh, on my iPhone data and this is the data we just created so yeah and we called it data.txt so yeah thanks for watching guys and um, that's how you create a share sheet to uh, share data in Swift thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video